Hi guys, my name is John Campbell and welcome to my studio. Uh, this is actually in our house, this is a finished basement. The uh, little terrarium you see over there is something I built that's not natural light coming in. So uh, this entire space is sort of dark unless you light it well. So a lot of my work is kind of derived from Indian miniature painting and mythological painting, medieval times. Uh, I think that I'm drawn in by the naivety of the people who created that stuff um, and that their struggle to try to make sense of the world, to come up with a cosmology when they really didn't have very much information to go on, you know, that old phrase, here be dragons. So... Uh, you know, they, they were dealing with plague and bad government and social unrest, depraved morality, greed running all over, and, and, you know, rumors and conspiracies that people didn't know truth from fiction. So imagine that. Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of what draws me into to that style of painting and also this idea of, you know, spirituality that the, the, uh, throughout history the artists are sort of like the shamans and the idea that the people in power sort of well, need to want to exploit them to to uh, stay in power. So there's always this uh, relationship between uh, the people who create these images and create the beautiful prose that's in the Bible and the people who would use that to their own advantage. You know, Voltaire said that history never repeats itself, man always does. And I think that a lot of the work is kind of exploring that to some extent. So, you know, once the pandemic struck, the for the first five weeks we were at home and my wife works from home and we have a 20-month-year-old named Sufyan. So, you know, I didn't get a whole lot of time to... Uh, sort of dive into my work like I typically do. You know, I work in either oil or gouache, and oil is a very sort of time-consuming thing to uh, get out and get all the things cleaned up. So it's hard to work in these small uh, incremental chunks. Uh, so I, I found it very difficult, so I kind of departed and did some uh, large abstract paintings, uh, sort of back to some stuff that I had done when I first moved out here about 10 years ago. And, you know, it was nice to work in, in a totally different style for a while. And, you know, I kept up drawing and working on some other things. But, you know, it definitely took a toll. And I definitely, uh, you know, for the after the first five weeks, we went out, out uh, to Michigan and we were up there for five weeks or so, um, you know, where I was made a treehouse in the woods and I made some... Uh, paths back in the woods, but I, I didn't get a lot of painting done. And now that we're back, um, we do have him, uh, our son back in daycare. So I've been able to kind of get back and try to get back into my normal practice where I have two days a week where I can uh, dig back into doing what I'm doing. But, you know, in terms of the question of why did you become an artist? I, I feel like yeah, you might as well ask a mollusk. Why did you become a mollusk? You know, I sort of feel like I was born with this sometimes it almost just felt like a curse to me, you know, like I have no choice. But then, you know, that's the nature side. But in the nurture side, you know, I grew up around, I grew up around artists and creative types. My dad uh, was a cartoonist for Jim Davis. Uh, so, you know, I had a lot of uh, creative types around me. Sam Ewing, he was an animator. Jafar, Ralph Eggleston, he's the art director for Fern Gully, uh, Toy Story, The Incredibles. Uh, Gary Barker, he was an amazing cartoonist. You know, there were so many people there who I just, uh, I think I took for granted, but I was surrounded by those types from an early age. So I think that, you know, I've always known, and there were moments in my life when I wasn't sure, I felt like maybe I was an imposter. I wondered maybe I was surrounded by artists, so maybe if I had been surrounded by doctors, I would have been a doctor. Or I, you know, who knows? Uh, uh, you know, I watched that movie Basquiat and I saw uh, there's a scene where they play some jazz and it's just a montage of him working on a gigantic painting and I think I was, must have been a teenager and I think that, something about that scene really, you know, I, I think 
the next day I like got out a big uh, sheet and I put it on the floor and painted this huge sheet on the floor and got a paint on the floor. My mom was pissed off and you know, but I I think that that was one of the first times that I was sure sure that this was who I was. But you know, I still even have moments where I'm not sure. So who knows? Maybe everyone's an artist at times if you if you commit to it. Uh, so thanks to everyone for uh, listening to what I had to say and uh, taking a digital visit of this studio. I really appreciate it. And I hope you get a chance to stop by the gallery and see the real work in person. Have a good day. Stay safe out there.